All right, this is the walk around video, walk around description video of a 1962 Bel Air. I'm getting ready to check it out, point out any kind of flaws I could find. I'll try to get my shadow out of here. Uh, it's got a 305 in it, runs and drives good. Automatic car, got front disc brakes. Nice set of American racing wheels with some good tires. Interior looks pretty nice. If y'all haven't seen my videos before, uh, please subscribe. I post cars like this every single day. They're all for sale. We've got a whole car lot next door, full of muscle cars. And I also do test drive videos on these. I already did my test drive on this. It did run and drive great. You can see that. You can go and uh, click at the end of this video and I'll have a video attached to it. And that's the test drive. Or you could just type in 1962 Bel Air Maple Motors. The test drive will pop up along with this video. I'm gonna start up here. We're gonna point out any flaws that I see. I noticed right off the bat, the front bumper is showing signs of pitting. The chrome is just not held up. It almost looks like a bunch of overspray, but that's just pitting in the bumper. It's an older style bubble bumper here. <clears throat> Still in good shape, just a lot of pitting in it. Some of the trim, looks like it's got some fades in it. Same with the grill, you see the top part of it. If I get really close, you can see it's not perfect condition. The hood looks pretty good, still got good shine to it. There's a crack in the paint right here. And it's only gonna get worse, those cracks, you know, they don't stay that size forever, so. There's some dipples in the paint here. Body doesn't look too bad when you look down the side. See some paint imperfections in between the trim and the window there. The trim around the window looks new. That looks like they've already replaced it. It's in good shape. This jam, it's got some cracking going down inside of it. It's got good shine on the roof. See the trim's doing the same thing. It's got this pitting going on down the side of the car. And if you look down here, there's been some work, a little bit of bubble and a little rust coming through. The bumper on the rear is the same way. There's actually a little scar right here in the bumper. So look, the trunk lid don't line up perfect. on the back of the car here. The rear bumper is the same way as the front. It's got some scarring, a little pitting. Same with the trim back here. It's not perfect either. Some bubbles popping up down here. Just right there in the front. And the fender well right here. Look at the trim around the back window. It looks like it's in great condition. I think they may have ordered that when they did the front. Same thing going down in this crack here. Paint's kind of cracking up. It's just a hard little spot to get to there.
little bubble in the paint right above the looks like new door handle they put those on looks like new mirrors those have definitely been replaced the seal around the vent window looks good still soft see some bubbling popping up the bottom of that door there excess paint on top of it <clears throat> and this car has been painted a while it wasn't a recent paint so you look in the front on the grill it's a little bent right here it's because they're thin these grills were thin oh sorry about that I always end up cramming y'all in the hood when I go to open it under the hood's nice and clean. Engine bay's all chromed out. A little fan shroud here. Got some rust popping up on it. It's like you got your power steering, power brakes. Small little 305. All right, let's make our way to the interior of this car. Interior's looking nice. I love the color combo. Aftermarket steering wheel. Carpet's been replaced. It's like the seals around the doors are nice. They're nice and soft. Somebody's already replaced those. We're gonna need some pins to pin this bottom of this door panel. The bottom of the door looks great. Except for right in here. It's definitely some rust issues. That's what we pointed out on the outside there. Just right here in the front corner. When you look at the headliner, it's in great condition. They definitely took care of that and they did it right. Interior light works, the seat's in good condition. It's not ripped at all. Dash still looks great. It's a little faded, but it still looks good. Almost wonder if you could put some wax on that. Kind of get the oxidation out. Rear seat's in good shape. And I've been paying attention, guys. I call that a deck lid. Y'all call it a package tray. Really, it's either one. I think I used to call it a back dash. Somebody really got onto me about that. <laughs> we'll call it a package tray since y'all called it that. I appreciate the tips. But yeah, the package tray needs to be uh, recarpeted. It's a little uh, scruffy. It'd look pretty cool if you could find some carpet like this and put it back there. I'm looking at the dash. When I was driving down the road, the speedometer was not correct. Uh, the gas gauge did work. All these gauges down here work. The radio didn't work. I couldn't get the windshield wipers to cut on. The blower motor does work. There's no AC in this car. The steering wheel is not lined up perfect. You drive down the road, it was like off by that much. But the car goes straight down the road. It doesn't pull to the left or right. The brakes are nice. Starter up. It's holding good oil pressure. About 40 pounds. Voltmeter's working. Temp gauge is working. It never got one over 180.
pretty quiet car. It's a little small block 305. Balancer down there is running straight. Everything's nice and smooth. Got a good sound to it. And if y'all have it, check out the test drive video. This thing runs and drives great. I appreciate y'all watching. Please subscribe to my page. I post videos like this every single day. If you have any questions, I'll answer them. You can comment below or give us a call. 615-822-4444. We've been up here for 36 years. We're not going anywhere. We buy 10 cars a week. If you haven't, check out my website, maplemotors.com. I got 100 detailed pictures of every car on the lot. Finance options are available. We got three companies you can use. Just directly go to maplemotors.com. You'll be able to see those. If you're far away, we got transportation options. We ship all over the country. I appreciate y'all watching. Please subscribe. I've got plenty more cars to get to. Thanks again, guys.